welcome to the real play version of Knights of the Smith Dinner Table, episode five of Extinction Curse. I need to apologize to everyone out there. Last week we had some issues and episode four is completely lost. I've tried to recover it from Twitch, but Twitch is the one who really jacked things up and Facebook wouldn't let us connect. So without further ado, I will turn it over to our magnanimous overlord for this session, Mike Lawson. Well, last session, um, you guys finished exploring around the town. Um, I don't think anybody really almost died last session, though. I was kind of disappointed about that. You know, it was one of the better ones for us. Yeah, you guys used tactics and uh, boosted the the monk with magic fang to make her... Yeah. Do a lot of damage and Stanley's epic critical to get out of the belly of the the Venus fly <laughs> trap. We also gave the winning lottery numbers for the next seven years last session. Um, so sorry that that didn't go through. And oh yeah, and uh, the Overlord kind of rolled like shit, so that saved our lives. And uh, yeah, just, and I did uh, not pull out my DM dice this week. I forgot. Oh so. shucks. Darn. So I'm still just using the, the random dice I had scattered around. Yeah. But when last we left off, you guys got a well-deserved break after finishing around town. And actually, uh, given that you can make consumables for over to the course of four days, uh, James and I have both house ruled that you can actually do a single consumable in one day of downtime. And guess what, guys? Today is a day of downtime. So what do you want to do with that? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I have some crafting to perform. I... How much money do we have? Currently in cash, we have six gold and eight copper. Because we bought a bunch of uh, potions and stuff. Six gold and eight copper. I also am, in, am trained in crafting if uh, we want assistance in, in crafting anything. Unfortunately, unless you have the magical crafting feat, you can't help me. Uh, if you, He can actually provide the spell for your scrolls if you so choose. Because you can have somebody cast the spell you want on the scroll for you. And then, Tristan, would you be interested to end some alchemist fire for your person? Absolutely. Uh, ah. So I still get to make that at half because of downtime, right? Correct. So if you want to dock one and a half gold... And then give me a crafting check. Ooh, that's a decent one. What happens when you critically succeed on crafting? <laughs> I haven't even looked at it. Well, what'd you roll? I'll I, tell you if you critically succeed. I didn't succeed. critically succeed. Um, okay. 23. 23 was not a critical success. Um, so you are good there. You've created one of whatever it is. If you critically succeed, each additional day spent crafting reduces the materials needed to complete the item by an amount based on your level plus one and your proficiency rank in crafting like it, with crafting if you go over the four days it takes to craft a normal item mm -hmm. you can reduce the cost of it by the time that you're additionally crafting right so when you crit you just get a little money back Correct. Cool. All, All right. right. So I will craft that, and that will be my downtime day. Um, we also went out and bought some stuff. We kind of did it at the end of last session, um, but we'll just do it during the downtime day. We bought a mall. We bought, that's for me. Kaz got hand wraps and mighty blows that are plus one. And then how many potions did we buy, Tristan? We have five minor healing potions. Okay. 
And Tristan, what are you crafting? I am crafting a scroll of magic missile. So two gold to craft that. Would you like to know my crafting roll? Yes. 31. 31? Natty 20. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that actually you, you managed to create um, that for one gold with that roll. And then how would we like to divvy up the potions? One each. Yeah. We can do one a piece. That'll work. So everybody can write down a minor healing potion. And a minor healing is 1d8. Correct. And then now that you're level three, Stanley gets to create three of his infusions per day up to the highest formula he knows. Yep, which is level three because I get a new formula every level. Right. Did you ever pick what your level three formula was? No, I was like, I know I forgot to do something from leveling, but all my stuff was good. So let me look at that. <clears throat> You've got moderate elemental flasks, yeah, moderate mutagens. I was mutagens. just going to take moderate alchemist fire because there wasn't a moderate heal. No, not so, available yet. Alchemist fire is it? No, alchemist fire is the healing right. ones are not. Right, right. So actually, that might change my price. So, yeah, that would be five gold to make so one I, alchemist fire. So I would have just made him a level one, but I have that was the level three I was going to go with, so I'll write that down. Uh, yep, it gets a plus one bonus to attack rolls, does 2d8 fire damage, two persistent fire, and two splash. And you can create up to three of those a day if you so choose. Yep. That's kind of nice. So yeah, that day passes without incident. Nothing occurs. You guys get some work done around the circus. Get some work done for yourselves. Go to bed feeling like, okay, things are getting back under control. When the next morning, uh, Nellen, the priest banker of Abadar, um, comes to the circus grounds with news. Mayor Aber left for the hermitage and hasn't returned. He's normally mm -hmm. back by now. He was supposed to go there and check on them and just never made it back. So since you guys helped out before, you, would you be willing to go see what's going on with that? Yeah, I suppose. Where is the hermitage at? Um, it's about 12 miles west of town, a bit north, um, along the coast. Uh, not a lot of people go and visit the hermits because, well, they're hermits of Gozra. They're on a really slippery cliff. Only the mayor really has any contact with them frequently. But this could be tied together with everything that's been going on since there was Gozer and imagery in the raid that was all part of the church. Indeed. I'm definitely in. And yeah, he gets maybe we can go talk to the mayor to, to see if there's anything we need to know about the hermits. The mayor's missing. 
Oh, the mayor is the missing. Yeah, the mayor is missing. He went to the hermitage and has not made it back. Well, I say we leave immediately and uh, try to track him down. Indeed. All righty. You said it was 12 miles northwest of town? Yep, west and slightly north. It's a bit treacherous uh, terrain, so that's another reason why a lot of people don't go. Um, There's no rails or guides along the path. It does cut close to the cliff as well. So we have to go on foot. It would be recommended if you go on horseback. There's a chance that they'll slip. Okay. I don't think anybody owns a horse anyway at the moment. Mm -hmm. See if anything happens. Funny thing happened on the way to the hermitage. Yeah, it's slick. The path averages five feet wide. There are times where it narrows to uncomfortable lengths. Uh, the wind is strong. It whips through there like it's, its job. And the hermitage rests on a jutting cliff about 50 feet above the sea level, which is aggressively smashing the rocks below. The outside of the hermitage, as you start approaching, the stones blackened from thousands of lightning strikes over the decade. Uh, there is a nearby shed made of what looks to be found wood. And also, as you come up, if you'll pull up the Hermitage map for me. Yeah, let me change the time of day. It'd be late afternoon at this point. There you are. And then if you will put me a creature there and one there. I think. Am I on a square? The squares are kind of hard to see. You get the gist. There we are. And that's what you see as you crest this rise. These banged looking frog things that are exuding slime. Um, Initiatives. 23. would help if I pulled up the initiative tracker. Stupid computer crashing. <laughs> At least it crashed before we started playing. Right. Yeah, every once in a while, it just decides to take a dive. Not often, though. All right, Fixie had 23. Where's... Talon isn't here right now. Stanley. A 15. He's moving slow because he's mourning the loss of his wolf. Kaz? 16. 16. Tristan? 20. And we've got Slurk 1 and Slurk 2.
All right. Okay. Uh, everybody give me perception checks that aren't tied to initiative real quick. Twenty-five. Twenty-five, twenty-one, twelve, and fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Those who got fifteen or higher noticed that this whole ledge looks to be covered in these things slime, so it's going to be entirely difficult terrain. Good. <clears throat> Seems like there's slime everywhere, guys. So just be careful. Mm -hmm. All right. Slurk number one moves there. Actually, move him there. Sorry. On diagonal over, because he's going to introduce himself to Stanley. Hola. And Stanley, I don't think a 13 hits you. No, sir. And the follow up of 15 will not either. No, sir. And I'm going to fire my dice tonight. <laughs> as we have Fixia going next. All right. Um, let's see here. Can I uh, stride up in front of uh, Stanley there, and uh, I will take a swing with my Simtar. Okay. And that is a uh, 24 to hit. That will definitely hit. And what's your movement speed? Um, 25. 25, okay. So yeah, you got there in a single. All right, so. So that is six total damage. And then for my last action, I'm gonna raise my shield. Sounds like a plan. Tristan, what are you doing? All right, Tristan will. Um, we're going to do a produce flame on the closest one. That's a 12 on the die for a total of. That's not correct. Um, nine, so 12 plus nine is 21 to hit. That'll hit. And we're third level. My produce flame got nastier. It did, didn't it? Uh, nine points of damage. Oof. And then I will throw up my shield spell. Oh, wow, the persistent on critical goes up, too. Yep. That turns into a whole lot of fire. It's a nine. Okay. Well, then. 15, 20, 25, 30. Number two will move there. And then we'll spit at... First Fixia, uh, 19. That's a miss. That's a miss, okay. And then it will also spit at, let's see, 5, 15, 20. Okay, I got all of you. Oh, it's, it's, it's really wanting to entangle that shield, apparently. First target. Uh, that's also going to be a miss. Not enough for a critical, I don't think. 14? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Kaz, what you up to? I would like to go into Tiger Stance 
And can I go flank number one? What's your movement speed now? 35. And 15, 20. Yeah, you can get, you can flank with uh, Fixia. All right, that works. <clears throat> So Kaz to there, and then what are you doing with your last action? Um, then I want to flurry with my claws. Okay, roll to hit. That's only a uh, 13. 13 will not hit. Second roll with a minus four. 17. <laughs> 17 does hit. Ooh, look at me. She moved up, right? Yeah, she moved to where that X is. Oh, wait, I was supposed to add my one to my first one. Yeah, still missed. Yeah, okay. Um, that's going to be nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. You are stabbing the fang froggies. Yeah. These are my claws. Okay. Stanley. Uh, number one swung at me. I just lost my dice somewhere. Um, so I will mark him as my prey, and I have my maul out because I probably wouldn't have been walking, using it as a walking stick. But um, so I will take a swipe at him. And that's a natural one to start the day. Ooh. Hero point, are you taking it? I'll take it. All right, let's see what that crit card says. Nice Melee one. weapon. Brand new Wrong deck. hammer. Let me get the correct deck. All right, melee, creeping hesitation. You are flat footed until the end of your next turn. All right. And then I will take another swing at it at a minus three. Yep. Um, <clears throat> that is a eight plus a nine, nine so 17, then minus three, so 14. 14 is a miss. Last action. That was. I marked it as my prey. Oh, yep. Yeah. You marked. Let's see. Well, it, it's going to go after the thing that just hurt it the most. So it's after Kaz. And I don't think a 15 is going to hit you. Uh, that's even worse. That's a nine. Oh, that's a crit fail. Crit <laughs> fail. It's going to lose its last action for that. As it's unable to do a thing. I just want to laugh at it. <laughs> it's lizard on lizard violence has to stop. <laughs> I am the sea captain. Fixia. All right. This, uh, this thing had the audacity to ignore you and try to eat the other lizard. You know, that's fine. I'm not too offended by that. I'll, 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 that's okay. So I'm going to try to take a swing at him again with my scimitar. And that is a 16. So that's a 21. That'll hit. Um, actually, that's more than that. I can't do math, but it's not a critical. Uh, all right. What, what's the total? Uh, 24. Actually. 24. Okay. Close to a critical. Uh, and that first hit is only five points of damage. Okay. I'll okay, swing so again. A moment. And that's a finesse weapon or agile weapon. Um I don't know. I don't know to be honest with you. Scimitars are agile, so it'd be a minus four, I think. Okay. Scimitars are not agile. Oh, they're not? Okay. They're, okay, so minus five. Yep. No, okay. they are forceful and sweep. Okay, okay. Uh so that is a twelve on the die. Was so 15 total with the uh, minus 15 will hit All thanks right. to the flank. Oh, cool. Uh, and that's a little bit better. That's nine points of damage. 
Nine points of damage. This thing croaks. Ooh. Last action. I'm gonna raise my shield. Raise your shield. All right. And Tristan seems to be gone. So he will delay. It's okay. He's just throwing a produce flame. We all know. Right. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> he can try to do that. As this other slurk will step to Kaz. Miss terribly and critically fail. So it is going to be flat footed as it is slipped on the blood. Can Tristan, you use these dice every week, please? I'm <laughs> switching right now. No. Those two are out for the evening. I'm trying a different <laughs> D20. I got two more on deck. All right. So number two moved up to there. Yep. Number two moved up to there. Number one is dead. You, okay. it is your action. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. All right. I am going to, why why uh, go with something that's a bad decision? Reduce flame is always a good one. And that is going to be a 25 to hit. 25 hits. For eight damage. Okay, no. And you boil some slime off of its gut. As that strikes home, um, let's see here. Right. I got to run and help her get the baby ready. That's fine. We can see the map. Kaz, it is your turn. This thing tried to step to you and flopped. Well, I guess I'll turn to it and try to flurry Claw's face and kill it. Okay. First attack. Twenty-eight. That is a critical hit. Okay. <clears throat> Roll the second one at a minus four. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen since it crit failed its last time and ended flat footed. That's a hit. Ooh. So double damage on the first one, normal damage on the second one. Yeah. Uh, 12 for the first one and 11 for the second. Ow. Uh, your second action? Um, I will call it again, I guess. All right. This time it's at a minus eight. All right. Nat 20. So that makes it a um, 21. <laughs> 21 would hit, bumps it to a critical hit. Since we don't have the crit cards, uh, go ahead and just roll me double damage. All right. It also gets bleed because I'm in my tiger stance. Right. <laughs> as well as I had to make a saving throw for it it's to be stunned. 24 points of damage. <laughs> just make it okay. eviscerated if it's not dead. Oh, no. It, sh it had four points of damage <laughs> left before it hit to zero. She just... Slash, slash, and just reached in and opened that wound up even Chopped more. Him. <laughs> just brutal. And then under two rounds of combat, let me take a look. Okay. The slurks are dead. Or the saber-toothed toads is what they look like to you right now. So, okay, guys. Or even down a man. I mean, th this module is written for four players. Yeah. The the fifth one's just kind of a, a safety bonus, and yet you guys still get the shit kicked out of you. So. Well, what happened? Oh, well, what happened was. All right. What happened? I uh, heard. All, all slurks are dead. Just didn't crit that one really hard twice in a row. Nice. Yeah. Crit it hit it, and then Nat 20 did. So there you are. You've got the wooden building, 
set of double doors to the north, and then the blackened stone building right there to the west. Well, which one do you guys want to go to first? Doesn't matter to me. I guess we'll just go to the closest one. Fine, but fine by me. Um, can I go up and check if the door's trapped or locked? Uh, you can. Give me a perception check. Back just a second. 26. 26? Well, the door appears to be untrapped, unlocked, and you hear the sound of punches and sobbing. I'll turn around and say, I hear somebody in there getting beat up. Should we go fix it? Let's fix it. All right, I'll bust through the door. Doors? Yep. Doors, yeah, both of them. Kick open the double doors, and there's a couple of guys with shields and tridents and armor beating up what looks to be the mayor of Aberton. Initiative. Do we get a surprise round since I kicked the door open and they weren't ready? Oof. Well, they heard you say, I hear somebody getting beat up here. I whispered it to the group. That's why I turned around and said it. You said you turned around and said it, not whispered. Oh. <laughs> and they rolled really high on the perception check on that point. That's fine. They, they didn't hear the fight with the slurks, but they heard that. Uh, I got a 25 for my initiative, so. All right. Well, looks like you get surprised anyway, because that's a really high initiative. Fixia. Uh, actually, I got higher than that. It's a natural 20, of course. 28. Okay, Tristan, wh where are you at? Only at 14. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's good. Kaz? I also got a 14. All right. Which one of you has the higher bonus? I have a plus six. I have a plus six. Okay. Uh, in that case, you guys will uh, roll another dice. Just tell me what's on it. 19. Six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tiebreaker rule. <clears throat> and the mutton chop monstrosities there are going there. There and there. Let's get this sorted. And we will start with Fixia. Um, so that looks this... like. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the person that they're beating up, that's the mayor. Okay. Um, well, is this, a, is this a double door or is it just a single door? Double doors. It is okay. double doors. Well, can I go up to the, go up into the doorway then, please? And then, um, well, I don't want to actually like go inside, go inside. It's a okay, five no, but... foot wide double door. Okay. <clears throat> it doesn't take up 10 feet like most double doors. That's fine. I'll just stay where I'm at then. Um, can I cast uh, days at number one? Please? You absolutely can. What's the DC on that? Um, see. Is, that, is that just my spell? De spell? spell DC? Yes, it's your spell DC. Uh, is that just 10 plus my bonus? It should be 10 plus your proficiency modifier plus your pertinent ability modifier. Okay, so that's 18. 18. And that is a fail. So I don't make a roll on that? No, that's, uh, that's not an attack spell. If it has a save, there's no attack roll. Okay. Nope. Typically. And... They failed the save. 
So it is <clears throat> damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier. So eight. You have a plus eight wisdom? No, but I thought it was uh, ability modifier plus. Is that nope this this one's just it? plus this one's just plus your ability modifier. Okay, so plus three. So three points of damage. Yeah, the will save is. Like, it'll do the damage regardless. The will save just sees if uh, they got stunned or not. Okay. Which he did actually get stunned one as I rolled a natural one on that save. <laughs> All right. And then uh, for my last action, I'm going to... Let's see, actually. I'm trying to see. There's one of those spells. Let's see if it's a... Uh... One action or not? Give me just a second. Sorry. Okay, yeah, this is a two action. Uh, so I'm just gonna raise my shield then for um, my last action. All right, raise your shield as your last action, and Stanley. He's uh, looking I'm... a little bit wobbly after Fixia. Uh... Step in, and then with my maul, I will try to shove him. To the north west, or yeah, northwest square there. Okay, so that's an athletics check to shove. Uh, 21. 21. And that goes against. 42 DC. One versus his fort DC, so that is a success. You push him back five feet in the direction of your choosing. Yeah, there, and then and then you can choose to stride. Square. Yep. Um, and I will free action, drop my maul, and my third action, I will attempt to pick up the mayor. He's not bound by anything or anything like that, right? No, he's not bound. Uh, he was just getting pummeled. All right, so I just want to grapple him or grab him. So just he's not to... resisting. So okay. um, he actually says, "Oh, thank the gods, you've come." So that should be my three actions. Then, right, I stepped, hit, and then grabbed him. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Here next on the docket is number two. Well, number two is going to get a little bit madder. He kind of puffs up and swings his trident at Stanley. And I don't think a 15 is going to hit. Oh, sir. All right. Second swing at a minus five. Nat one. No, sir. Here it comes. These are not named characters, but he drops his trident. Poor Mike. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel sorry for him. Where is Ben to witness all this? Number one is going to spend his first action shaking that stun. Second action, he's going to get enraged. And he's going to try to stab Stanley. 24. That'll hit. Four. 16 points of damage. All right. And that's his three actions. Kaz? Well, can I step up behind Stanley? Can I take the mayor from Stanley? You can, if Stanley is willing to let you pass the mayor off. No, I have to get out. 
<laughs> okay. That's got fucked up. <laughs> I guess I will. Fuck. I guess I'll go on the other side of Stanley. Can I go on the other side of Stanley? Like, you can. To yep. here? Or three of them are going to hit you. Well, can I squeeze between the pillar and the wall? Like through here? Oh, no. Yeah, you could. It would cost five extra feet of movement so to squeeze through five, there, but yeah. 10, oh, well, I have 15, a lot of movement, so I'll do that then. Uh, that would be 30 to there. And those are pillars and not like barrels and tables. Yes, they are pillars. Uh, then I'll flurry number two. All right. Uh, the first one is a 20 to hit, 21 to hit. 21 will hit. The second is a 15. That will be a miss. Um, that's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. And then I guess I'll just try to claw him one more time. All right, at a minus four. Or minus eight this time, right. sorry. Uh, it's only a seven. Only a seven? That's <laughs> a critical fail. Yeah. So you're going to be flat-footed on the back screen. All right. All right, Tristan. All right, so it looks like I can see enough of all three of them to get two of them into an electric arc. Yes. So I will go with number, I saw her go to the left, so I'm gonna go with number one and number three. They get a DC 19 reflex save. Okay. And they are gonna take nine points of damage before any save number one seemed to avoid a little bit of it whereas number three took it all then i will activate my arcane tattoos to bring up my shield okay well let's see number three has a couple of options here. He's going to step forward, enter a rage, and try to take down Stanley. But I don't believe a 16 will hit Stanley. That's my dice are pulling really bad. So that's his three action. Fixia. All right. Um, I want to step up uh, one square, and then I want to cast um, <clears throat> Spiritual Weapon, uh, and I want it to appear and attack number three, and that's sustained for one minute. Okay. So you'll have to spend an action every turn to sustain it. Okay. And spiritual weapon. Let's see what that does compared to what it used to do. I know what it used to do. Well, let's see, because it says with it, it, like if I each, it says each time I sustain the spell, I can move it, but it doesn't say anything about having to sustain the spell in order for it to actually keep attacking. Well, if it says sustained for up to a minute, you have to sustain it for it to be active. Okay. But you can sustain it for 10 rounds. Gotcha. And so it pops up right there. Go ahead and roll to strike. Okay. They use uh, your spell attack modifier. All right. So, um, let's see. 
eight or no, uh, 19. 19 will be a hit. 1d8 plus your uh, wisdom bonus. Uh, so that's eight, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage to number three. And that was all three of your actions. And then Stanley, what are you going to do? Can I step towards the door and drop the mare in the corner uh, north of me? Free action. And then I will draw (coughs) one of my alchemist fires and throw it at number three. Okay. As you step away, uh, number three will use a uh, reaction to step with you. I thought steps d- don't allow attack of opportunity. Oh, it's, it's not an attack, not an attack of, opportunity. of opportunity. It's a reaction. Right. Yep. Gotcha. All right. That's fine. And then I will still. Yep. You can still do those fire and throw. Yep. That's a 19 on the die. So that is a good one. And it's my ranged attack. Where were you throwing it? Um, because I have to hit the target with the initial, right? And then the Correct. splash goes. So I'm going to hit number three with it. Okay. And then I'll get the splash damage, but that's all right. Um, uh, let's say 19 plus a seven, so 26. 19 plus seven is 26. That'll hit. And then the alchemist fire was 2d8 this time because it's a level three. Mm-hmm. So that's nine points of fire damage, and, and then, then splash is two, and the persistent is two. Yep, and everyone takes this, everyone within five foot radius of that, so one, two, the mayor, and yourself take two points of damage. Yep. And that should be all three of my actions. Yep. And it looks like the mayor is... Struggling to survive at the moment. Okay, number two is going to attack the lizard in front of him. 25. That is a hit. All right. That'll hit four, nine points of damage. <coughs> 18? No. All right. Third swing. Actually, uh, raise shield for their last action. Number one. Is going to move here. And is going to go after the cleric. A little bit of cover for the door frame. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. So that's, that's going to be a miss. miss. And with his last action, he's also going to raise his shield. Kaz. So when they raise their shield, does that just give them a plus one? Or what does that do for them? It gives a plus two to their AC. As long as their uh, shield isn't magical. Um, I will try to flurry him with my claws. Okay. They're in 28. 28 is a hit. Thirteen. Thirteen is a miss. So he'll get seven points of damage from that. Okay. And then I'll do another claw attack on him. All right, minus eight this time. Twenty to hit. Twenty is a hit. He'll get. Six points of damage. Last action. 
Is this still just a minus eight if I try to call him again? Yes. Okay, I'll just call him again. Ooh, okay. 18? 18 is a miss. Oh. Tristan. All right. I am going to step because I'm just going to keep hitting the same two with electric arc, number one and number three. Okay. And that's going to be nine DC 19. Right. Yeah, this time it seemed that they were ready for it and neither one of them took the brunt of it. It took a little bit, but they were able to kind of get behind their shields a little bit and let that absorb some of the magic. And that's your three, number three. Now, he's going to go after Stanley. A 14 is a miss. A 12 is another miss. Third action, new dice. 19. Also a miss. That was an 18 on the die that time. <laughs> 20 is my yeah. guess. Yeah. Can these guys not hit you? Oh, I'm back here. It's bullshit. All uh, right. Well, end of the round. Ricky, the mayor. Take his persistent. Yes, oh, yeah, he yeah. takes his two persistent for being on fire. And number one, does he get persistent or he just got splashed so he doesn't get persistent? Right, right. right. only, the, only okay. the person who got hit gets All the right. persistent. Just want to make sure. And that persistent is still on there. He is still on fire. And the mayor moves to dying too. Fixia. All right, um, let's see. For my first action, I want to sustain my spiritual weapon to attack... Number three. Okay, so it moves up and attacks. Roll the hit. Um, I've got the same thing I got most of the time. Um, 20, 21. 21 is a hit. D8 plus three. Um, 11. Points 11. He drops to the ground, burning still as he falls. All right, and then I want to cast a uh, two-action heal on the mayor. Okay. That's 2d8 plus 16 now. Okay. Um, so that's what, 9 plus 16, so uh, 25? He is definitely no longer dying. 27. Math. Oh, 9 plus 16 is 25. Yeah. yeah. I went the other way. All right. Next on the docket is Stanley. Number three is dead. I will draw my Warhammer and my Light Hammer, and then I will. Um, it's not double slice. What is it? It's a twin takedown on number one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Warhammer is a. 22 to hit, and then a minus three, four, 13 plus nine is 22, and it's a 19 for the second one. And that was at number one? Yep. So the boat raised hit. his shield last time. Or, oh, yeah, sorry. So only one hit. First one, was it the first or the second? First. First one, right. Okay, that's the Warhammer, so it's a... Eight plus four. Oh, max. Cool. 
12 points of bludgeoning to him. Those are my three actions. And let's see, number two is in locked in battle with Kaz. That is a 25. That'll hit. For 12 points of damage. Second roll is a miss and raise the shield. Number one. Let's see. Saw the healing magic come, so he's going to try to take down the cleric first. 23. That's a hit. That is four. 17 points of damage. Uh, second swing will be against Stanley since he hit him and has been wounded. That is a 21. That's a hit. So Stanley will take eight. Third action. Um, let's see. Just taking a gaze at which one of you looks the most wounded. We'll go Ray Shield. And Kaz. All right, this guy's making me a little man. So I'm gonna rub my little fists together. I'm gonna flurry claws, face, and hopefully kill him. Okay. Twenty-six for the first one. Ow, that'll hit. And. Eight for the second one. Eight total? Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a crit failure. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you lose one action for that. So you still right. have another action, but roll damage on that hit. Seven points of damage. Okay. And then I'm going to try to claw him one more time. All right. Minus eight. I got a nine. A nine? All right. You'll be considered flat-footed against him for his first attack against you. Tristan, there are two still standing. <laughs> and All you right. can see them both. Here comes another electric arc. <laughs> Twelve. And those are two electrified individuals as they both critically failed their save. Woo! 24 each. <laughs> On the bright side, they had 10 and 4 hit points left, period. So it's not they like you did really too good. Jerk. With your effective spell use. <laughs> uh-oh. There it goes. Okay. No, uh-oh. The mayor looks up at you guys and you know, I, I came here to check on Harlock who, who runs the hermitage and the, these cr corrupted individuals immediately imprisoned me. I know they sent word and a couple of priests who came to see and they were all cruel and pitiless as those thugs that were abusing me they were accompanied by small flying demons and i don't i don't know what they're doing dealing so openly with those fiends i i from what they were saying i've, I've figured that harlock is also a prisoner inside the hermitage well then i'm certain that gozra him or herself would be pleased if we rescued one of their faithful. Please do. You are far more capable than I. I. I must go back to the city and raise a defense in case you fail. Failure's not really an option. 
thanks would be nice, you know. But yeah, just in case we fail. And die. While they're yes. talking, can I have Bixia do a medicine check on me? Yeah, because it'll take about 10 minutes for this to happen. And Fixia can choose two people to medicine check at once now. Whoa. So does anybody else need it, Stanley? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Um, that is a... Uh, I'm going to also pick up my mall. 19 on the die. 19. So 2d8 back to them. Okay. It was a 19 on the die. Oh, 19 on the die. What's the total? Sorry. Uh, 27. So 4d8 back to them. Good catch. Nice. Yeah. Dang, that's Stanley. <laughs> He's so cool. Or you have to say that. But yeah. the mayor does say before he scampers off, he'll be sure to send a, a fitting reward back to the circus where when you return. All right. So uh, they're busy doing their medicine thing. Um, I'll search these guys, see if there's anything worth keeping. Um, they each have hide armor, gray robes that are slightly tattered, uh, a trident, and a wooden shield. So pile it all up in a corner. We'll see if we can find something to tow this all back. And you guys get uh, 19 points back. 19 back. Thank you. Stanley, are you still a little low? Uh, a little wrong. Okay. Um, I'm going to take two of the tridents. Okay. And actually, yeah, I'll put my maul away and I will carry my two, the two tridents one on each hand. So gonna do wheel tridents, yeah, for a moment. Nice. Well, you've got uh, doors on either end, the north and south, and a just a curtained opening there. I'll go to the south doors. And then can I try to stealthily check the curtain or behind the curtain? Absolutely. Roll me a stealth check. While while they're searching, can I do a medicine check on myself, actually, because I'm down to half? Um, And don't forget, now that you're an expert in medicine, if you choose to up the DC to 20, you get additional healing back. No, it's fine. Okay. Um, so if I choose to do that, is it permanently or just, you know, do I state when, that I want to raise Whenever it? you make the roll, you choose where you want your DC to be. Okay. If um, you do DC 20, you would get 2D8 plus 10 back. All right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and, and raise it. But before you said that, I got a 15 on the dies so for a total of... Uh, 23. 23, so you pass the 20, so 2d8 plus 10. Cool. And then an 18 for my stealth check. All right. You're feeling pretty sneaky as you peek behind the curtain. Which uh, end of the curtain are you going to peek behind, the north or south end? I'd go to the north side since Kaz is I'm back full. down here at the south checking shit out. Okay. You peek and you don't see any creatures. You do see some doors. Right All right, I'll look in the curtain the rest of the way, kind of slowly to try not to make much noise, but I know we just fought, so it doesn't yep. matter a whole lot. No problem. Uh, yep, just it's exactly what you see there. Doors to the north and south and one going further west. Um, let's see here. Kaz, you were just opening that door. Yeah, I'll open it and peek in. Okay. Um, it looks like it is a storage closet. Mm-hmm. The room is mostly empty. Uh, there are some wooden casks and a crate. And a nice box. Gonna take a look. 
What's yeah, your perception check? I didn't check? find anything. What'd you roll? A nine. A nine? No, this isn't really hidden. Okay. Um, the casks are half full of salted pork and mead. Uh, there's a crate of paper and a few boxes of ink and quills. But then there's also on one of the shelves is a jar that's labeled Lesser Salamander Elixir. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab that and take it back to our group. Kristen, can you use the ink and paper? Do you need that for any of your material costs? Material costs, no, but that will serve me well in the future. All right, I can put that in my bag just for the bulk of it. And then also um, with items that you can get formulas for, you can reverse engineer. So if you don't choose to use that lesser salamander elixir, you can reverse engineer it and hopefully get the formula back. Gotcha. All right, so that's that room. And at this point, it's been a few minutes. Um, to learn what the salamander oil does, do I have to make a check of any sort? Craft alchemy check. So just a crafting check? Or is yep. it an alchemy? Okay, I was going to yep. that up to you. Alchemy. Uh, identify alchemy is something you can do if you have the alchemist tools and a trained in the craft skill. Okay. Um, so for crafting is a seven to so 19. 19. It. And then I can just look it up if I pass it. Yep. You do pass. It allows you to be protected from the effects of severe heat for 24 hours. Gotcha. Gotcha. So if you fight any dragons, you're good. That is true. The greater one it's, protects you from extreme and incredible heat. It's not fire resistance. It just protects you from environmental effects. So wouldn't do anything against dragons. You know what? Fuck a dragonborn, okay? It's more, yeah. You're working hard in the forge all day. You're not taking it from that. Uh oh, you're taking it all right. Oh my. <laughs> I need to go see real quick what my dogs are barking at. So I will be right back. Right. While I'm gone, figure out what you guys are doing next. My dogs are barking. So that uh, southern room there, is that the only place we've searched so far? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say we'll go north and then just kind of work our way back. And I need to change the lighting. And... Sorry about that. A squirrel must have farted or something outside because my dogs are barking at nothing. We'll do that. But it was insistent enough that I felt to go check. All right. What's going on with the lighting in there? Correcting it. Uh, it's the the place is well lit. There um, are there are only a few lights listed. Really, it says lanterns and torches throughout the Hermitage keep the interior well lit, except where indicated. Huh? Because they didn't uh, put torches and lanterns in every room on the map. Home. 
Oh, okay. No, I see where you're talking about. Okay, so yeah, it is going to be a dim right there. But I did put the sunlight out here. Yeah, I see where they actually put the torches in the rooms. I just read the description and went about my day. I didn't actually look at the... Okay. And then I will go up and check the door to the north as our next plan. Okay, where you're at or the one that Kaz that, didn't check? The one that Kaz didn't check back in that room. Okay. Kind of systematically check them all. So all check right. with trapped or locked. Anyone doing anything else? I am staying right where you see me. So that way I can be ready to respawn in any direction. Yeah, I'll okay. kind of stay in the middle and kind of watch the front door as well. So watch the rear. All I'm right. Go with Stanley. You're backing up Stanley, and it looks like Talon finally caught up. He got uh, stuck on the trail, as Mr. Nunn just said. He is home. Sorry, I thought you were going for the other container. I'm like, I thought these were all the... All right, so is that door trapped or locked? Let's see. What's your perception modifier again? Seven. I'll, I'll, I'll start doing these. Uh, it looks clear. All right. I will open if I can. It opens right up, and it looks like a, a waiting room. Uh, simply furnished with tables and chairs. Fucking stone waiting. walls are bare. The furniture doesn't look particularly comfortable. HGTV magazines and everything. And there's a copper vessel filled with water on the small table. Nothing over there. Hey, Hello, Talon. Nice of you to catch up. We were killing sure things without you. These new guys, they never work out. There it is. Okay, yep. Oh, um, die. You weren't even here to die. Sweet. They took out uh, two encounters without you. But Mike yeah. already rolled all his ones for the day, so you're out of luck. Inventory was more of a nightmare than I thought. Yeah. Isn't it always? Yeah. All right, I'll well, go to the next door to the north there. Okay. Trapped or locked. Looks clear. And I'll continue to follow him. All right, open her up. Opens up into what looks to be just a simple guest room. Uh, there's a very uncomfortable looking bed. Copy of the Gozer and Holy Book, Hymns to the Wind and the Waves. Um, writing supplies and a candle on the desk. All right, I'll grab some more writing supplies. I don't, I don't know what the quantity is in the store, but or in the book, but it's just a couple of pages and like a charcoal pencil. Okay, I'll grab another set so I have a set. So does Tristan, and then check the next door. Okay. And I'll are you going across the hallway? Or are you? I'm going to stay on the same north side. Okay. And it looks like Tristan cast light. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. North door opens. Same layout. Just looks like another one of these guest rooms. All right. Um, now the doors to the south. All right. Starting with the one closest to the front. Yes, sir. Trapped or locked. You think it might be clear. All right. Same thing. Yep, that one's the same thing. And then move to the one closer. The looks clear on the trap and lock front. The only difference about this room is that this uh, bed sheets has some staining on them. It looks like blood. And there's a few wooden shims that it looks like they used to wedge the door. At least you had somewhere comfortable to sleep. All right, we'll go check the last door. Okay. Locked or trapped? Or trapped and locked, I guess. Doesn't appear to be either. All right, I will open it. Are you moving up with us, Fixia? 
Yeah, I will. I'm sorry. I apologize. This door is actually locked. Not trapped, but locked. It looks like it's barred from the other side. It's not locked, so I can't pick it. I'd have to force it, right? Correct. <coughs> um, you could try to lift the bar from the other side. You have things that can wedge there. The door's not, you know, real flush with the door jam if you wanted to try that. Okay, I'll try to do that first. Um, did we pick up Thieves' Tools? Was that the other thing we bought? Yes. We did buy that, right? Okay. Yes. Did I get so a plus? Can you, you don't so, get a plus. You actually yeah. have to have the Thieves' Tools to make the thievery to check, make the check and things like that. Okay, gotcha. If you had one of the special Thieves' Tools, then you could get the plus. All right, that's a 21 on my phone. 21. You're able to shim in there with a little thin bar and lift that thing right off. All right, so now the door's unlocked. Door is unlocked. I will open it cautiously with my trident in my other hand. And you open the door and you see... More slurks. What you see, a slurk and two, two individuals, and they... Halt, whose goes there? Uh, Tristan, this is your forte. Go to kill him. It's your mom. Okay. Sorry, Cheryl is drilling. Didn't want to put you guys through that. All right, so... I will. I already have my mage armor cast, so I'm feeling confident. Step forward, walk right in, and I will say, oh, what was his name? The Gozrin High Priest here. Harlock. Yes. We've come for an audience with Harlock. Do not bar our way. Uh, they... Step back and point to the northern door. If you want him, you have to go there. He's went down to the crypts to fight off some ghouls. This your guys' pet saber tooth frog? Um Yes, it's my my pet slurk, slimy. Did you have more of them by chance? <laughs> no, but they been clustering on the, the 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 cliffs there but no yeah just 22 you're allowed to go th i'm sorry go ahead 22 on a sense motive perception check oh they are lying out of their asses they seem genuinely wary of what's in the north hall but you don't think harlock's down there Well, just don't take your slurk for a walk. <coughs> the rock. Just say it. And if you'll move uh, E back to where F is and keep the slurk where it's at. Uh, move e to this one. I will step out of the way this way and say, go ahead, Stanley. Okay, is that like a... I don't know how, if he says it that way. Am I throwing my tridents? I don't know. What are you I'm, doing? He said, go ahead, Stanley. I motion That's for all you to said. come on in. Uh, okay. So don't throw my tridents. <laughs> are, are you saying that in character? Yes, very much so. <laughs> yeah, no, don't throw the tridents. Just... So Are as he walks in, here, we'll, we'll pull off the boards and you can go into the crypts. Are those guys holding tridents? Well, yes, they are. And shields. Huh. As, as he walks in, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. I will, with him in front of me, so that way it's not immediately obvious... They hear me speak some words, and, and then 
You start casting a spell. All right, well, we'll roll for initiative. <laughs> I thought we but, weren't throwing the tridents. <laughs> we're not throwing he's, the tridents. He's not quite enlarged yet. Let's get some initiative rolls. Uh, 19 for Stanley. Stanley's at a 19. Fixia? 20. Kaz? 15. 15 again. Tristan? 23. Talon? That's you, Ben. You're muted if you don't know. Yeah, no, I didn't realize I was getting in on this one. Hold on. Yep, you're here. You said you were ready. Well, I was ready. I didn't know if I was actually in the group, like joined up with the group yet. No, I said you slow ass caught up. He, he was actually ready. ready. <laughs> I missed that. I mean, I rolled a one, so uh, <laughs> eleven. Uh, eleven for your percent. You have a ten perception. Yeah, I have improved initiative. Wild man. Nim- well, let's see. And you're still last with improved <laughs> initiative. I'm usually not. It was just a shit and shit roll. <laughs> I mean, the fun thing is he is not last. Wow. 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 Damn slurks. As, <laughs> no, the slurk. Wow. Wow. Uh, Fixio, what's your initiative modifier? Eight. Eight? Okay. Now, the the two rubes down at the bottom also rolled ones on their initiative. Well, one rolled a one. The other one rolled a three. I just have a better bonus. So, yeah. And Tristan, since you rolled a 23 and were first, your plan does go off. Oh. Womp <laughs> enlarged Stanley. With we're not throwing tridents. All right. <laughs> so you are now clumsy one for as long as the spell lasts. You gain a plus two bonus to melee damage and increase your reach by five feet. All right. As well as you have one more action, Tristan. And person, then, person the because I know that I'm suddenly a target, and uh, as a free action, I'll shout out they were lying. And then I'll throw up my shield. Liars. <laughs> I don't know why being larger means you talk slower, though. I'm not used to it, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fixia, it is your um, go. <laughs> uh, well, can I? If I step in the doorway behind the the gargantuan guy now, can I see anybody in the room? You can see them. They'll have a little bit of cover from you. Okay. Um, oh, no, he he's not gargantuan yet. That's at higher spell levels. Uh, I'm just large. I mean, what's and the, in I charge mean, or thick, if you want to call it thick. With two C's this time, two as C's. the kids are wont to say. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I actually would like to cast a uh, spiritual weapon one more time. Okay, yes. so you prepared that one twice today. Did. See any other and your charisma's ten, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, just double checking. So, did you move up first? Yeah, I stepped up to the doorway just behind uh, Stanley there. And where are you dropping your spiritual weapon? Uh, I want to drop it next to E, please. Okay. So next two or between all three of them, like right here? Um, well, with this spiritual weapon, uh, because it's sort of like a ghostly like mist, it can't be attacked, right? Correct. It can't be attacked. It doesn't take up space. Um, you, other people could occupy the same space as it. Okay. Yeah, you could put it right there in between all three. Okay. And so which one are you wanting to attack first? Uh, e. All right. Roll your swing. Uh, let's see. That is a uh, 19 on the die, so 26. 26 will hit D8 plus 3. Eight points of damage. 
Nice. Eight points of damage. Very nice. And uh, it's my turn. Two actions to cast that. Yep. Well, <clears throat> the slurk sees you guys doing things to the, his buddy and is going to bite the big giant target of opportunity. And that is a 30 to hit. That's a crit. Okay. Look, it just took Ben Nunn to show up for my dice to warm up. It wants to kill him. I mean, my character is the most killable character. Truly is. That's 20 points of damage. I'm sorry, scratch that. 25 points of damage as its tusks have the deadly 1d10 trait. Does he get an AC bonus for being large? large no, he gets a penalty. Clumsy one drops his AC by one. Oh, good. So you said that was what, 23? Uh, 25 total. 25 total. Yep. Okay, cool. Second attack, 23 to hit. Yep. And that's 10 points of damage with that one. And with his last attack, he's going to try tusking you one more time. That is a 19. Uh, that would be my AC, because my AC is 20. Uh, is it 20 before you were enlarged? Yes. So it's 19 currently. Yes, so that would be a hit. So you will take 12 points of damage from that one as well. And I will be dying one. Well. <laughs> no, ben, I'm not going to yep. lie. I rolled absolutely garbage before you showed up, and then that whole thing, I didn't roll anything bad. So thank you for being here. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you. Uh, Stanley, uh, flat check. 12. 12, you are no longer dying one. You are just unconscious and wounded one. Kaz, what are you going to do? Well, there's a large body to climb over to get to anything. Yeah, well, I guess I better start climbing. <laughs> climb, climb those Five, mounds. Ten. Of the thick boy. <sighs> you can s stop there with a single move, I think. Let's see. Five. Her speed 15. is like 30 or 35. Yeah, 35 speed. Five, 15. Can I go 25. to the left of oh, the yeah. Uh, you can Under actually climbing. get. You can get. Uh, You'd have to stop with the diagonal and the rough terrain climbing over the large body right there with one move. All right, that's fine. I'll just stay there. Uh, and then I'm going to flurry claw Slimy here. Going after Slimy. That asshole. No, oh, shoot. I named him. He should have got a crit card. No. He wasn't named Too until late. I gave him a name. <laughs> um, first one's an 18. 18 is a hit. Oh, wait, to slimy. wait, that's a 19. 19 is also still a hit. Okay. The second Minus one four. is a 20 to hit. 20 also hits. So the first one gets 10 points of damage. Okay. And the second one does 11 points of damage. Nice. Very nice. And, and one thing you to remind me of is that you uh, stunning fist. Oh yeah, that is that's my. Oh, that's every time I do damage. Every time you flurry, <laughs> you have the option to use stunning fist. You said you did use it. I remembered. The only reason I'm bringing it up right now is because it just critically failed that. Yeah. Meaning it is stunned three. Oof. Every. Every other time you've hit with your flurry, I've passed the check, so I didn't have to tell oh. you. But now I'm reminding you. You have stunning good. fist. Hi, just busy. Yeah. All right. And then I will claw him one last time. All right. Minus eight. You know, my wife is like a child. You're yes. muted. Oh. It's a 14 to hit. 
14. Let me see if stunned does anything to their AC. My wife's a child. She's not passing me notes in the same office. I have to go get her candy off the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, stun doesn't do anything to its AC, so it is nothing. All right. But like that's your three done. act. Yeah. You and thank you for the reminder. I wrote it down. Again. Talon. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm in that back corner there. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, and we just have the three in front of us to take it? Yes. Okay. So I can see number one and number and F, it looks like. Yep, there's one E and F, as these two are named. All right. Let's, uh... <laughs> How far away is Kaz from me? Five, 15, 20 feet. 20 feet? Huh. Is there enough room for her to enlarge, too? Uh, let's see... I believe it would push people back. It, I think it would. I can't really see from my perspective, so... Yeah, it would push people back. Okay, we'll, we'll skip out on that then. Um, well, she chooses the direction she enlarges, so she can enlarge uh, okay. towards the bad guys. Well, do you want that, or do you guys want me to tanglefoot one of them? Because, I mean, I can do a couple different things here. I mean, it's up to you. Actually, you know what? We'll hit one with electric arc and send it to E also. All right. So you're hitting the slurk with electric arc and swinging it to E. Yep. Uh, basic reflex. Uh, mine is 18. That, what's the damage? Uh, that's a D4. 2D4. So, 2D4. Okay, because you cast second level spells now. Meaning that heightens. So that would be five damage on the die. Did you add your pertinent caster modifier? Thirteen. Thirteen. I keep forgetting to add that. It's it's still a newish system. Get it your yeah. shit together. I don't know. I'm fucking horrible. And then uh, my the last action. The slurk dies, and he took it fully. Okay, and then I will. I'll go. Mm, all right, I'll go ahead. Kaz, do you have attack of opportunity? No. She does not? All right. As E runs to this back door here, no. opens it with its second action, and moves through it with his third. And it feels so big. <laughs> what a bitch. <clears throat> How far in is he going? Uh, he's going uh, full move, so let's see. Their movement is... Where did I put their movement? 25. All right. Turn. You have two handy women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bear with me one moment. I've got to add 
add a couple of things here. <clears throat> and F steps forward val valiantly to attack Kaz. Raging. And draw me a card, James. Not of the good kind. So, fumble card. Uh, Yep, so fumble, fumble card, card, melee fumble. <laughs> as <laughs> she stepped forward and flopped. That's the same one I pulled for Stanley. I must have put it right back on top. Well, then what's the next one down? The next one, pointy end goes there. You become wounded one or your wounded value increases by one. Ow. All right, let's... He wounded himself. Well, I mean, you guys came in, didn't believe their lie, took out the slurk in no problem. And then bolted. So he was a bit scared, but still willing to fight. Now, James, will you move creature uh, V from that room that they just entered uh, 25 feet forward, please? 25 feet forward. Maybe 5, 10, 15, 20. Thank you. Okay, 5, 15, 20, 25. Um, it's going to use another move action to get into the room. 15, 20, 25. And we'll stop there. Uh, Tristan, I do believe you can see the Vermlek that just entered the room. Indeed, I can. And Your action. I seem to recall that uh, they take electricity just as well as anybody else. Seems like. So uh, the Vermlek and F need reflex saves. DC 19. Okay, damage. Damage is 10. 10. All right. It seems like the appearance of the Vermlek bolstered this guy as they both shake off the bulk of that damage. And then for my last action, I'm going to make an interact action to pull a potion out of my uh, belt pouch. <clears throat> Okay, what potion did you draw? Cure or minor cure or minor the healing elixir potion. of life? No, minor healing potion. Ah, healing potion. Okay, uh, Fixia, it is your action. All right, uh, I want to spend an action to sustain my spiritual weapon. Okay, are you I moving wanna, it? Yeah, I want to move it to attack the uh, big hairy monster looking guy. Okay, swing it at the demon. Roll to hit. <clears throat> Ooh, natural twenty. <laughs> Of 28. 28. All right. Um, so. And that's going to be. Uh, give me a slashing crit card, please, Mr. Smith. Slashing. Or, well, does that count as a magic weapon? Is that different? Or it, does, it, does the damage of the type of weapon. <clears throat> So it wouldn't be a magical crit as if it were a spell crit. It would just be a slashing crit. Because the the spiritual weapon you would summon is a scimitar. So, target must succeed at a fortitude save. 
What's your uh, spell DC, Fixia? Yeah. 18. And what happens if I if fail, you fail that save? Its head goes flying off. Okay, its head stays on its shoulders. All right, <laughs> but it's just triple Darn. damage. Triple damage. Nice. Yep. So D8 plus three times three. It's the first time we've seen the decapitation card. And you won't let us use it, you best. It's Mike's fault. I think Mike's cheating. <laughs> he heard you. I'm really not. <laughs> no. Trust me, okay. if I were cheating, I'd be hitting a whole lot more. I thought that's what we say when uh, players don't get their way. So no, that's what, yeah, that's, that's what Cheryl, Cheryl says. I tell people to cheat better. Isn't Cheryl's worth? He does. He's told me to cheat better. But what's your damage do there, Fixia? Uh, max damage of 33. Wow. Yeah, I got an 8. That's nice. Shit. All right. That was uh, one action. Uh, and then for my last two actions, uh, I would like to do battle medicine on Stanley. Battle medicine's one action. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. So I will do battle medicine on Stanley for one action. Rolling. Final answer. <clears throat> Is that just a D eight? No, oh, it's the you still got to roll your medicine check. Okay. Ooh. Um. That's not great. Uh. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen, you were unable to perform battle medicine. Damn it. One All more right. action. Um, let me see. That's too much. All right, I think I am going to drop my uh Scimitar as a free action, and for my last action, just draw my crossbow. Okay. <clears throat> Stanley, you're unconscious. There's Stanley's view. <laughs> That's me. All right. James, if you'll move the other creature from the other room... 25 feet forward. Actually, move him up next to E if he can get there in one move. Or I don't, I could you open that room for me? Just let me see. Yeah, Sorry. I wish I could share my screen with just you, but right. It's okay. It's, uh, there's nothing other surprises coming other than that creature. So I'm not worried about them. So I will it. give. That's going to change here in just a moment. There we go. So E was already next to him at the start of the turn. Yep. Oh, okay. We're fighting Aquaman. Aquawoman, it looks like. Aquaman has long hair. <clears throat> then. Yeah, it will. That doesn't look like Jason Momoa to me. All right. You hear some chanting. Actually, kind of knows that happens. All right, then twenty-five feet forward. <clears throat> and we'll sp spend the last action. Throwing. Now let me kill our vision. That way you have her actual vision. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, last one will just be to step up behind the verm leg. There we go. That's, that's three actions. Kaz! Well, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Great. Um, can I? Is F dead? No. No, F is still in the fight. Okay, I will flurry claw F in the face. 
All right, roll the hit. Uh, the first one is a 20 to hit. And I do believe F had their shield raised, so that is a miss. All right, the second one is a um, 10. A 10? That is, crit fail, um, that is a crit fail. Huh? Didn't F crit fail last time and made himself wounded, and that was the end of his round? Oh, that's right. I rolled the one. Never mind. He did not have a shield up. He did not have the shield up. Thank you. Second attack misses, but doesn't critically miss. So damage. All right. And let me roll. Stun, not stun. And that's a whole six points of damage. <laughs> All right, six points of damage. Second action. A claw him harder. Minus eight. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen's a miss. Last action. Fuck it. I'm gonna try again. Fuck it, YOLO. 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 <laughs> Fuck it, I got a three. <laughs> a three? All right. <laughs> well, no. You'll be presented flat-footed to it for its first attack against you. All right. Talon, what are you doing? You've got a down giant in front of you still. You're still muted, Ben. Um, let's see. Down giant in front of me. That <clears throat> makes me want to get him up because he needs to, he needs to do the damage. Um, All right. Let's go ahead and step. Let's go ahead and do the three action. Thirty foot, twenty five. That's not going to hit anyone. Of the, okay. Yep, we're going to do the three action heal. Nice. And that'll be heightened. So. Two d eight. 2d8. Or so 2d10 you, if you have healing hands. Memorize the spell as a second level for the day? Yeah, uh, yeah, I already had it in my list. Okay. Just making sure that you you prepared it as a second level well, and not just so as a first I had, level that you're heightening. I did. So I had animal form, but when the wolf died, I decided not to. I switched out of that one on the next day and got the um, uh, the heal. That's That's fine. I was just making sure. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. All right, so uh, I just roll the. No, I have to roll the. You roll two d eight. Two d eight. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen. Eighteen healing to everything around. Within thirty feet. Within thirty feet. Two d eight, and you got eighteen out of it. Did you? Do you add your modifier to it? Oh, wait, do you? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. six. Ten. Two to eight doesn't ten. equal 18. Yeah, ten. It was a okay. six and a four. Ten. <laughs> ten healing to everyone. <laughs> I just rolled with it. I've I've had a day. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Dustin, thank you for co-DMing with me. The, the, yeah, you're right. The max I could do would be six. I'm not doing eight. much else right now. So, uh, <laughs> Give yourself another hero point for catching every single one of my misses tonight. <laughs> Dude. Night's not over yet. I got to get on my game. But that was your turn. All right. E valiantly comes back to the fight. 25 feet forward. 25 feet to try to get in with Kaz. 5, 25, 30, 35, 45. Perfect. <clears throat> And pull me a crit card, please. Yes. Piercing. <clears throat> All right. That is not a crit card. All right. Pinhole. Critical effect. The target takes one persistent bleed damage that cannot be removed until the target is healed. Oh. Yeah, we have not done the last backlash yet. And double damage on top of that. You will take 30 points of damage. Mm. 
as the priest must have slapped some sense into E there. All right. And that was his three actions. F's turn. That is a 21. Yep. For 18 points of damage. See you bye. <laughs> Dying right. one. Dying one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Vermlac starts bouncing in glee as he pushes you to dying two and to dying three. Jesus. Well, oh, fuck. And it's the Vermlex turn. The Vermlek is going to. I really like this character. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for this. <laughs> the Vermlek. Burrows. Oh shit. To here. <laughs> uh, uh, where to go? Why is it not drawing? And then it gets Stanley. There we go. Bur Burrows to there. Now. Pops up. Goes for a bite. Does a seventeen hit your flat-footed AC? What's your AC My AC normal is 20. So no. no, it does not manage to finish you off with <laughs> nice. Back, but it has, has the second, second one. No! <laughs> not one. That is a 23 as it <laughs> kills you. <laughs> is this? I didn't even make it to the pugs the pug thing. The shoony. The shoony. Not yet, but um, we can try to convince a really nice DM to let you sneak that in a bit early for this next. Uh, apparently, Becca heard the sadistic glee I took in killing Kristen. Yeah, it was rude. Uh, <laughs> Kristen, uh, Kaz is dead. All right, there's nothing I can do for Kaz, but I can attempt a battle medicine. Oh, yeah. Did you raise a DC before you rolled? Nope. Because I'm only uh, trained in it, I can't raise it. Oh, However, okay, gotcha. Gotta be expert. 26 on a natty 20. 4d8. Nice. Well, there's two eights, one die that flew. So 16, 25 back. All right, feeling better. Damn well better be feeling better. <laughs> That's one action. <clears throat> For my second action. Um, then I will go with electric arc. Uh, Besides the Vermlek, of those two guys there, who looks more wounded? Uh, e does. All right. So the Vermlek. F is e. raging, though. Oh, sorry about that. DC 19 reflex for 12 <laughs> points of damage on a failure. At James's house. Okay. There's a reason the I keep going to D4s. The Vermlek doesn't take anything, and it looks like E shook off about half of it. And you said it was what? 12. 12, okay. E's looking shaky again, but... Fixia. All right. Um, 
Let's see. For my first action, I want to sustain my uh, my spiritual weapon, uh, and I want to attack um, the Vermlick with it. Okay, so move it to over Kaz's body, or are you moving it on F? Does it really matter? It doesn't. So one action um, to sustain. Yeah, just put it there. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, that is... Oh, let's actually get lucky with these. Uh, he can't 25. 25 is a hit. D8 plus 3. I was going to say, they were way off the first time. And they really weren't that off, but it, we would have. Yeah. Or 8 more points of damage on, the, on it. Okay. And your other two actions. Uh, can I do a uh, two-action heal on Stanley? Okay, and what uh, spell slot are you using for this? Did you prepare one for it? Uh, first level. Okay, so you had one prepared with the heal? Yeah. Okay. So is that 2d8 for... Two action, yep, 2d8. Oh, no, it's 1d8. If you prepared it as a first oh. level slot, it's still... Okay. 1d8 plus 8, then. Okay. Yep. Um, 13. 13. Stanley's probably feeling a little bit better right now. Yeah, that gets me back up to full, so I'm good. Well, Stanley, it's your action. <laughs> you don't you are take a... Laying there. Um, penalty for th ranged attacks from the ground, right? It doesn't really matter. It was a flavor thing. I'll stand up either way. But, um, well, now I'm not. I need to look. Okay. Oh, I guess it because you matter. are prone. You take a minus two penalty to any attack roll. Any attack. It spells. You can yep. cast like electric any arc from any the attack ground. roll. Right, but if you cast electric arc from the ground, it's not a penalty. Correct. So, Okay, um, I will stand up rather angry and I'm going to throw my two tridents, one at E and one at the Verm Lake. Okay. Uh, did you Roll the first one at E. First one is a plus seven, so that's a 17. All right, that'll miss. And then the minus five was a natural 20 at a minus five. So that's a 22 total. 22. That's going to bump it up to a critical. And so uh, what's the what's the card? Tridents are piercing. <laughs> Perfect strike. Triple damage. Nice. And so with ranged weapons like that, I add my strength mod, right? Correct, because thrown weapons add your strength mod. Uh, so 3d8, or well, 1d8 plus your strength times 3. 1d8, okay. I, was, I thought it was a 6. Um, that is a good 1. Um, so that's 3 plus 12, so 15 points of damage. All right. It was the most lackluster triple damage I could get. And then that's all of my actions because I stood up. Right. All right. Well, the priest sees what's going on. And hold, please, because I have spells. All right, so what pops up on Stanley is a flaming sphere. I need a reflex save from Stanley. Does clumsy affect that? It does. 
So is it just a minus one? Yep. Okay. It's a minus one on all dex based checks, is what clumsy does. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, not great. Um, 16. 16. All right. So you will take. That's actually 17. I lied. That's fine. My modifier wrong, but yeah. You will still take 17 points of damage from that flaming sphere. Okay. And then I will take 16 because I have resistance one. Actually, let me double check what my resistance is. I think it's one equal to half my level, which would be one, right? Because we round, do we round up or down? Uh, rounds down. Rounds down. Okay. Um, resist equals half level. So yeah. So fifteen points of damage, or sixteen rather. Yep, sixteen points of fire damage, and then let's see. Last action will. Step fully into the room, going behind F. Kaz is dead. Aw, thanks. I know. You're number one in my heart, too. Wah, 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 wah. Talon. Yep. There's a ball of fire on Stanley. Uh... Fuck. Indeed. Um... That too, yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, we'll hit. What? I don't have anything to help with that burn. No, I did not. Um, uh, we'll hit E with. Uh, what are you up to? We'll hit it with the uh, electric arc again because that seemed to do some damage. Oh. Targeting E and F. E and F, okay. Yeah. What's your save, DC? Uh, 18. And damage. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, 12. 12 damage, okay. E is a bit shaky. And then on my last action... Uh, let me uh, move up five feet. Okay, so step into here. Yeah, yeah, in the corner there. Okay. Yep. All right. Top of the round. Oh no! Wait, I got the two uh, retainers to do. Well, let's see. He's got Stanley right there, so. Take one action to finally rage. Hulking up a little bit. Second action will be to Trident, the Stand Man. 22 will hit. For a whopping eight points of damage. And then the last action will raise shield. Um... F is going to stride to here. Uh, Stanley, you took eight points of damage. We'll stab at Stanley. We'll hit for 16 points of damage on that one. We do, we do. And then with its last action, are you still up? Yeah. All right. We'll try a second swing because he's still got some hit points. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. 19 with the clumsy is my AC. All right. So we've got 15 points of damage on that trident strike. So I will be dying two now because I was wound. No, he did yep, battle you... medicine. So it took my wounded away, right? He failed the battle medicine. No. Tristan did. did battle medicine. Tristan treated wounds. Yep, he did. Yep. So then your wounded went away from that, and now you're back to I'm dying one. Dying one. Yep. yep. 
we are figuring out how to do this whole dying thing properly. I got everyone should items, so whatever. Everyone should achieve to die quite as gracefully as Cass did. Yeah. And the Vermlac will take its entire action <laughs> to crawl into the body of Kaz, consuming the bulk of Kaz's skeleton and internal organs and cramming itself into the hollowed out cavity within. Oh my God. Oh, she's a meat puppet now. <laughs> So go ahead and uh, lighten Kaz back up for me. <laughs> As Kaz is now the Vermlick, who will use her claws to murder you all? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and her plus one wraps of mighty blows. Right. Uh, Tristan, <clears throat> the demon just entered Kaz and stood up. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't like that. Actually, everyone who saw that make a will save. Uh, not me. Oh, damn it. Did I see that? Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> Fuck. Can I see that from where I was at? Do I still have yes. my hero point? Uh, have you used it? No, I'm using it now. No. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, Ben Nunn, what's your will save? Well, it's it's a critical failure no matter what. It's a one, but let me get the number. Oh, no, you don't need to worry about that. You're frightened <laughs> one, sickened one. Is. Uh, Fixia, what was yours? 22. 22. All right, you are good. Tristan? 21. You are also good. As <laughs> the... Druid just, oh, that's not natural, and is terrified and sick at the same time. All right. Now, Tristan, what are you going to do? Um, I will step to here. Okay, you'll have to use a stride action because that's difficult terrain. That's right. So stride action to get to there. I'll glance at those two and say, flee! And then I will, oh, I will electric arc. All right. Who are you electric arcing? Uh, Kaz and E. Kaz, why don't you go ahead and roll your uh, reflex save uh, for the Vermlac, since it's in your body. All right. Watch out, George. 21. 21? Okay. So damage? Nine. Nine? Well, the mm -hmm. Vermlek and Kaz's body both drop lifeless again. And he also drops to the ground. See, he told you to run, but then two of the enemies dropped. What are you doing? Um, well, let's see. Uh, my wife came in, to be honest. Which one's dropped? I, I kind of missed that. Uh, e and the recently vermlicked Kaz's body. Okay. Uh, well, let's see here. I am I'm just going to stay here, honestly. So for my first action, I'm going to sustain my uh, spiritual weapon, and then I want to attack um, the priest or priestess in the okay, back with so it. Slides over to E's body and roll your to hit. Um, that is a 20 total. A 20. Uh, let me double check something here. That hits. Okay. Four. Seven points of damage. Nice. Excuse me. And two actions left. Uh, and then I want to uh, <clears throat> fire one action. He sustained. That's one action. Yeah. Oh, no. 
So you've got one action left. You don't have two actions because he has. Oh, he attacked with it. I thought you attacked. Yeah. With you. No. no, he's got two actions. <clears throat> All right. Uh, for next action, I want to fire my crossbow at F. Okay. If that's at a minus because it counts for my attack penalties, so it should be at a minus five. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is a sixteen. Sixteen is a miss. Deflects off of his shield. All right, and then for my last action, I'm going to raise my shield. Okay. Stanley, give me that flat check. A whole three. A whole three? You are dying two. Can I use my hero points now, or is it before I Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you can I'll use your hero point to reroll, or you can throw both of them to automatically well, stabilize. I guess I'll try just so if i use one now re-roll and that fails can i then toss in all of my hero points correct okay so i'll use one for now that's an eight so i'll toss in my other hero point and you are no longer dying mm -hmm. let me see if that stops the wounded condition to be honest i thought you were dead, dead. that's why i didn't heal you Oh, that was Kaz. Yep, you lose the dying condition, stabilize with zero, and you do not gain the wounded condition. All right. Oh, hey, Ben. Yeah. Uh, you can s sacrifice your hero points for your uh, animal companion to keep them from dying, just so you know. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, gonna give me that one, Mike? Rest in potato. Now that we found it out after? Uh, you had potato. already used your hero point for the day. <laughs> okay, how about I don't get one next time? Oh, no. No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> um, let's see. Flaming Sphere will roll on to the wizard who has been highly effective. Give me a reflex save. Which then does it roll onto me as well? Oh, yeah. No, it's single target. Okay. 19 on the die for a total of 26. Okay. Four is caught. Okay. You take seven points of damage from that. And this is four L. L. So. And then. that one then a 21 to hit you James that is a hit okay as she produced flame and threw it at you And you will take D4s. Eleven points of damage from that one. That's her action. Kaz is dead. Talon. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so it looks like we're getting things under control now. I mean, I yeah. mean, Stanley's dropped, but seems to not be bleeding out anymore. Um, the ball of fire has rolled on to Tristan as well as he got smacked with a ball of fire as well that you could see. Uh, you don't see any enemies from where you're at. Damn it. Um, let's go ahead and take the step back. Where are you stepping back? Just straight there? Straight back, yeah. Yep. That now you see two enemies. That's all I need. We'll hit him with another electric arc. God damn it. Another goddamn electric arc. <laughs> Save. 
Uh, the uh, eighteen. Okay, damage. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen points of damage. And they both take it fully as my dice. How did you get 14 on 2d4 plus 4? Mm, oh, no. You said it was... Oh. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, it'd be 10 then. Okay. I thought you said it was pertinent spell modifier. Pertinent yeah. ability modifier. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. Yeah, your wisdom modifier. That's that's where... Okay, that's where I won't... Yeah, no, it'd so be plus 10. Four. Yep. I mean, they still took it fully. Yeah, no, so it just wasn't. A a, yeah, no, no, that's I, no. I know they did. That's not a big deal. I was, I got confused there for a second. All right. Well, F is going to step forward. Well, stride because he has to because of the lump that is Stanley, and is going to try to help finish off the flaming wizard. Twenty four. hits and that's going to be 16 points of damage <coughs> dying one dying one all right and then with his last action since the vermlex dead and he doesn't need to provide it with corpses uh will step forward to engage with fixia Uh, won't be on the the flaming sphere tile. He'll go up to that one. Yeah. All right, Tristan, give me your flat check. Nope. Dying two. <clears throat> Fixia. Alrighty. Um. Uh, um, so I do have another first level spell prepared, uh, or heal, I mean. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to cat, or I want to do a, uh, yeah, I'll do a three action heal. And I'll cast the three action heal and then for a free action after I cast the heal, do the healing, I'll yell run. <laughs> okay. So um, what do I need to roll for that? Uh that is just one D eight. And with three action heal, you will heal both the dude with the trident in front of you and the priest as well. Yeah, I know. Okay. Just making sure you were aware. Yep. Um, is that 1d8 plus anything or just a flat nope, d8? just a flat d8. Alrighty, that's six back. All right. <laughs> that's my turn. Okay. Stanley, you are awake. There are people standing on you. Um, I will look up and see Tristan and basically say, on top of you as well. Right. <laughs> I'll say I'll fix this and then I will stand up. And then fixes in the doorway, right? Yes. I will stand. And then for my first action, can I shove Tristan through the doorway? Is that feasible? It is. Make your athletics check. Tristan, are you going to try to resist this? 
Um, okay. That's a 25. 25. So you chuck him five feet beyond since he's not resisting. And then I will take my other action to shove F back towards the trident lady. Okay, and that'll be at a minus five. So that's an 18 on the die, plus 11 is 29, so 24. 24. Uh, he goes five feet onto where the Vermlek Kaz thing is. It's like the kind of like half I, of Kaz's uh, mouth. I know I'm already... Does my reach, increased reach, help with that at all? Nope, it still just moves him five feet. Okay. And then that's my turn. Okay. The priest is going to sustain the fire. Let's see. 5, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, put it back on Tristan because Tristan has been the problem child this fight. Give me a reflex. Oh. <laughs> Natty one. Nat one. Well, luckily you don't take double, I don't think, if it's a basic, do you? Yeah. Oh. The basic is double. Well, then. Yep, yep. I mean, you're still going to just be a dying two because of the wounded. Oh, dying three. <laughs> I yeah. went to dying two. Yeah. No, you start, you go back up at wounded one, though. You were only at wounded one, so you'll start at dying two this time. So that's okay. <laughs> dying two, you'll go up to wounded two if you wake back up. That was one action. Second one. Produce flame on Stanley. Uh, 20 will hit. Stanley will take 11 points of damage. And I am dying too. Yep, dying too. Stand there, there. Talon. Okay. So, 15 foot cone. Who's still up? E and the Trident guy? Uh, F and the Trident guy. Is that an F? Oh, to the okay. right. Yeah. yeah. And 15 there um, and there. So Fiction is still up. Yep. Yep. And Stanley is down, but the ball of fire is on him. Correct. Uh, the ball of fire. No, the ball is of fire on is Tristan. on Tristan. On Tristan. Yeah. I'm I'm dying too in the room. Relatively close to you. Okay. Fuck. Um. I'll tell Fixia to grab Tristan and run. Move me up 15 in the doorway in front of Fixia. That's 515 right there. I'm assuming because Stanley's still rough terrain, right? Yes. All bodies yeah. are considered rough terrain now. All right. And then we're going to center a burning hands cone to try to catch both of them. Oh, I don't think it'll... Go out as far as the priest from there. Ten, five, ten. Are you sure? It's a, it says 15 foot. I'd have to see it. I'd have to see the cone on the map. There it is. Give it a second. It's still loading for me. Could you only move 15 foot or could you move another five? I can move more. My movement's 25. Yeah. The, there's no way I could catch both of them, is there? Nope. You can go there or there. Because this would uh, be 30. I feel like th let's let's do that and hit the uh, priest with the trident with burning hands. He seems to be the bigger threat. Hopefully well, hold everyone on, listens to what I said. Ben, you can either yeah. move here, which would put the cone... Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. 
Which could put no, no, no. I have um, I have reach spell. Oh, so it's a. Uh, you can start at thirty feet out. Okay. No. But reach is an action, and since you took one action to strike, and then it's two actions to cast two a spell. Actions. Okay, so yep. let's just go with where I'm placed now, and we'll hit F, and hopefully we can get away before the fucking bad guy really tries to do something. But if your plan was to use Reach, you could have stayed where you were, used Reach as your first action, then cast the spell, and you wouldn't be in the room. Let me make sure it works with... Let me double check. Um, I'm pulling... I have it right here. You can extend the range of your spell if the next action you use is to cast a spell that has range. Increase that spell's range by 30 feet. As a standard for increasing the spell's range, if the spell normally has a range of touch, you extend the range 30 feet. I don't believe Burning Hands has a range. No, it's a, it's a oh, cone. It doesn't, so I would have to go there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That works. We all understand now. Yes. And that's the first level, so 2d6. Okay. Your save DC is 18. Uh, no, it is 17 now because of the Frightened. Or did that fall off? No. Oh, no, that's still there. Yeah, second and right. Oh, yeah, it's a seventeen. The fright should just be rolled a hit. So your class, your spell. DC yeah, it shouldn't affect your DC change. either way. Yeah. No, no, What's no. The second affects my DC. Didn't you say this I was second? Your second one frightened one. Yeah, the second would affect my primal DC. Correct. I'm double checking the effect. Because yeah, it. Frightened status penalty to all your checks and DCs. So frightened does affect your DCs. Yeah. Sickened, it, sickened is affects all your checks and DCs. So your DC is actually two less. Yeah. So it's a 16 okay. currently. It's a 16, yes. If they're the same type of penalty, they don't stack. Right. But they're one's a sickened penalty, one's a frightened penalty. But no, are like they circumstance effect? item or. Oh, they're both status penalties. Okay, right. so only one of them applies. Okay, so yeah, it is a 17 then. Clear as okay. Well. 17. 12 damage. 12 damage for the die. We got max damage for that. Okay. Uh, he stepped out of the way of it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, after all that. I nat 20 the saving throw. <laughs> Asshole. Mm. Uh, I'm going to tell Becca to be mean to you. Well, she I already mean, is. I, yeah. Mean to all right. Well, that's all my actions. Mm. And uh, James, it's, it's the two different conditions would stack. I thought it says that uh, penalties of the same type don't stack. Right. It would be if if I were to no, because it's a it applies a status, a circumstance, or an item penalty. <laughs> oh, is that yes? See, the the thing is, is that you got to look at the trait that's attached to it. Different parts say different things, so it's yeah. combining which is right. That's fine. I don't. It doesn't really matter at this point. Arguing about like trying to decide it right this second doesn't really affect anything. So, let us go to F. Who has a new target? <clears throat> 22 to hit. Ben? Yeah, that hits. All right, you're going to take 18 points of damage from that one. Okay. Okay. Second roll does a 17 hit you. Yep. All right. You'll be at 10 points of damage from that one. Okay. And third attack, he will raise his shield. Back to the top. Fixia. Alrighty, um, let's see here. <laughs> well, you heard me yell, grab Tristan and run. 
I did. I did. All right. So Tristan is dying to currently, correct? Correct. All right. Um, did you take right. the cantrip stabilize for the day? I did, yeah. So I want to go ahead and stabilize Tristan. Um, for my first two actions and then for my last action uh, can I go back to Tristan and uh, attempt to pick up his unconscious body and do a full movement with him uh, you wouldn't be able to do a full movement you would just be able to pick him up all right that's fine I'll go ahead and uh, do that then Okay, stabilize and pick him up. And then... All three of my actions. Sustained ball of fire rolls on to you. Reflex save, please. Yeah. Oh, good, man. I did, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not rooting for you. Uh, 19. 19, you take 18 points of damage. <laughs> All right. And then five, ten, twenty five. As the priestess steps up to here and tridents the druid. Yep. Uh, 21. That is a hit. Okay. And that will be... It doesn't matter as long as you did over five damage. All right. I did. You're dying one. Yep. Dying one. All right. Stanley. Flat check. Uh, I used my hero points, I thought. Then you got up and then got dropped. Oh, is that how I got up? Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, you got healed. 20. You are wounded one again. Talon. Yep. Flat check. I don't know which dice to use because they've all been rolling like shit. Use that one. <laughs> Not that have one. A... The other one. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Not that one. 14. 14. You're 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 fine. You're stabilized. Thank you're God. wounded one. Yep. And F will take a move action to step up to here. Does a 27 hit or is that a critical on you? That is a hit, but it's not a crit. Thank you. All right. You will take nine points of damage from that one. Okay. Still up. And second attack. 11, 20. That's a hit. All right. And you will take 14 points of damage from that one. And dying one. And dying one. TPK. Oh no, this isn't a TPK. We'll start next session with Kristen's new character in the jail cell with you all. Oh, okay. As those who aren't dead get stabilized because, well, there's other demons that need fed. Ah. All right. I fucking hate you. <laughs> The uh, second time the character has been taken to a dungeon to be eaten and tortured. This started right. so well. <laughs> and then Ben shows up and ruins it for everyone. Literally. <laughs> That's right. exactly what happened. Everybody I also switched dice. Have a great night, and we'll see you with our next episode. Yep, we'll see what happens next time. Have a good night. See, see you guys. guys.